after years of hearing about Arcane and how great it is of a TV show, I finally decided to give it a watch. And I can tell you, I was blown away, okay? Now, I, I've never played League of Legends. I, I, om I know almost nothing about League of Legends, which can be a bit of a, like, oddity considering that I usually hear a lot about different stuff. So um, not here, not knowing, like I literally know almost nothing about League of Legends and uh, knowing almost nothing about Arcade itself, except for uh, knowing that Jinx is like, was like a main character. That's pretty much all I knew. And I think something about a sister, I think is what I heard as well. But <clears throat> especially like, I, I don't know anything about League of Legends. I, all I know about it is it's, I believe it's a shooter and it's a m MMO. I think I don't know anything about the gameplay <laughs> and I don't know anything about the world. So, um, and I know this is, this is going to be a little, a little bit of a rarity. So, um, this is, this is kind of big. So with not having any of the, no that knowledge, of course, I can't go into any, like, um, you know, what did they get, you know, what parts of the, you know, League of Legends did they pull? I have no idea. I literally have no idea what is part of League of Legends and what's not. So going into that, um, <clears throat> Spoiler warning, by the way, I'm going to go through it. It should be safe. I mean, this show's almost three years old now. So um, if, you ha if you don't know anything about Arcane, go get out of here. So, um, so first thing I want to say is that I, th I think the world building was actually pretty cool with this show. Um, of course, it being like this whole other world, um, you, ca you kind of get very familiar with things like the, the Undercity and, you know, uh, all this, like, kind of the whole dichotomy of the people in the, the upper city and the lower, the under city and the relationships and and all this stuff. It like, you, you kind of get a feeling for a whole bunch of things so that you get to know, that you feel like you kind of actually know this world. And it not being like this, like, kind of random generic thing that, that, you, that nobody really cares about, which is great. I love that. Great. I thought it was kind of an interesting choice that they spent three whole episodes on the backstory. Like, uh, like for, I, I was surprised because at first, like, you know, you, you, you go in and like you have, you know, Jinx and Violet, Vi and, and the Mola's kids, right? You know, the, them going younger. And you think to yourself, oh, like, okay, so we're going to, we're going to do a little bit of this and then we're going to jump forward. Right. But then after like episode one, I was like, Okay, so episode two, we're gonna jump forward in time, right? And then it's episode two, and I'm like, we're going deeper into this story. And so by the end of episode three, I mean, obviously, like by the end of episode three, you're like, okay, this is this is where they're gonna have that time jump, right? And I thought I thought that was really, f I think that was so cool with what they did there, with having those three episodes, because not only did like, cause uh, otherwise, you know, you, you, kind of, you kind of will see some of the characters that, uh, <clears throat> and, and you can you'll, you'll kind of get an understanding like, okay, yeah, you can kind of, you, you know, you, you just understand, but you don't really get it. Right. Um, the, the relationships of these characters before the time jump. Right. But especially like when, uh, at the end of episode three, when they really like pull a whole 180 and they kill off Milo, the other guy, I forget his name, uh, and then they end up killing off Vander as well. Like, because that's, like, because you've spent three, several episodes with them, right? That is that is your main cast up to episode three. That is your main cast right there. And so you've built up that connection. And so, like, that does come as a huge gut punch. Like, you, you're not expecting it because those are your main characters. And, like, it's... It's a big thing, right? It's it's more than just like, okay, so you know that there's going to be a time jump and then you spend like maybe half an episode or like one episode with them <clears throat> before you move in. Because by the, like by episode three, I'm like, how much of this show is, is going to be in this past bit? I'm like, like, it's basically a third of the show or a third of the season at least, because I believe uh, season two is coming out later this year. But I, I, I'm like, I'm like, how much... Cause like I'm and I'm actually getting invested in this, right? Especially like how all that, like how the episode three ends, was, like wild. Like I something I was not expecting it to go like all like that entire direction, with how every like with Powder killing 
her own family. That was, oh, like I thought that was, I thought that was insane. Um, and I, I kind of, I was kind of thinking that maybe like um, the way that like, I wasn't sure exactly how things were, because you, you knew like there's going to be a time jump and I heard something about sis, like sister being separated or something like that. So I'm kind of, I'm like, I don't know how this is supposed to like be playing out or whatever. So I, I thought Vi was going to abandon Powder, but then um, she ends up, <clears throat> it wasn't quite that, but um, Silco ends up taking her in before um, before uh, Vi can come back and, you know, and, and take her back in. And so that was, that was just kind of like a, a crazy turn of events. Um, so I think... Uh, I do think the, the the style of the animation, and this is something like normally I probably if if it was like year, a few years ago, I probably would have been kind of eh, not really liking the animation style because at that point in time I was more like you know trying uh, kind of one one style kind of thing. I think with especially with the Spider Verse movies, I think that's kind of really changed my mind about um, how to view like animation and especially different styles of animation as well. So I can appreciate like having like a, a completely unique animation style, I think is just a, a really cool thing to have. And, you know, after a while, you just, you're not really thinking about the different style anymore. And you're, it's just, you're just soaking in the story and everything. And it's great. So some of the interesting things I found about like the characters, cause I think, I think the biggest thing here are we're talking about the characters in the story. Cause I think, I think a big part of the story really I, I think the main point of this is the, the, the characters, I think, is because the, the whole story just kind of, it, it does a lot of different things, but I think it focuses so much on the characters that I think that's just kind of where you, you, it leads to. And that's, I think that's really cool. And like one of the interesting things about this show is that there, it's, there's almost n no good guys in this show, which is, or at least your main characters aren't good guys. Um, you've got, uh, let's see here. So starting with the, like the people in the industry, like Jinx, for instance, um, you know, she starts off as a, as a, like kind of like this innocent little girl who wants to, who wants to help. And like, as in a, like when you get to like the adult version, she's, she's literally insane. And um, she, you know, she works for Silco, but she's not completely controlled by Silco. So it's like, okay, um, so that's, that's not like a, like, like, so she's not like a complete bad guy, but she's also not really good either because she acts more like an antagonist to some of the characters throughout the show. Um, and then you've got Silco, who isn't exactly the bad guy either because like, because he takes in Jinx and he actually cares for her. Like you, like when, whenever you have those interactions with, um, with Silco and like, like the thugs, like some other thugs who are, who are wanting to take Silco out, you're rooting for Silco here. Like, so you, so he's not like the complete bad guy either, because, uh, you, you're like, when it's like him against other people, you're rooting for him. Um, but then you've got like Vi and Caitlin who are, you know, like they're, they're a little bit kind of like. Like they're probably some of the, the better characters. Obviously, they're not like the moral superior good guys, right? Because they, uh, well, at least Vi isn't, uh, because you know she's you know she's still a criminal who does criminal things. But she is probably the out of the ones who are more criminals. She's probably the best and probably the most protagonist. Um, I think we we do spend a lot of a lot more time with uh, Vi and. Caitlyn that we do ever with Jinx. So there's a, there's kind of interesting like with that. And then Caitlyn, you know, she's, she's almost a bit, she's a bit of an antagonist in a sense that um, she's an enforcer, which puts her at odds with a lot of characters, um, especially from the Undercity. Um, and then you've got uh, Jace, who starts off as kind of this good guy kind of guy. And he ends up kind of becoming a like not fully I wouldn't say fully corrupted but he he's starting to get or become corrupted um or at least changing his views on how he you know he wants to do things and he's he's starting to make decisions um and it's again it's it's kind of a thing that's it's like it's not very a straightforward thing right because 
obviously he, he wants to be a good person. He wants to do the right thing. But in doing so, he ends up making decisions that betray others and like and going in a direction like like he wants to do the right thing, but he ends up turning his you know technology company into like a weapons like he's he's going into like a weapons manufacturing company right or he's um he's breaking the rules because he's like 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 they ban him from um from studying magic and then he's like well as long as i succeed they'll they'll be it'll, it'll be cool right and so he does that and then he and then he uses his you know he per, uh, as soon as he becomes counselor he starts using his power immediately to to start doing a whole bunch of things and so it's it's not quite like he's being corrupted, but it's also like there's no right decisions here, right? There's no right or wrong decisions. It's it's kind of like these things affect these people and all this other stuff, and it's it's a really intricate thing that's going on here. Um, and then even like um, even even like who uh, uh, I forget the name of the group, but the group who it looks like like they're writing on the the green surfboards and it looks like they're the bad guys it's like okay those, that's the bad guys right there but then you know you find out it's little man and they're actually more good guys than you know uh than these people over here like silco and it's like so like you you've got all these parties who are kind of against each other and they're like some people are working with each other and some people are working against each other and it is really complex and people are antagonizing against each other and and teaming up with each other and not like like good guys and bad guys are teaming up and good guys and i, I guess there i don't know if there are really any true good guys in this but that it is just so complex that it just makes for i think a very very compelling story overall i think arcane is fantastic i can't wait for season two I think it's I think it's gonna be great. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that I have, don't have to wait several years to get Arcane season two. It's only coming, I believe, in November this year, 2024. So that'll be that'll be fun to see um, when that comes out. And uh, maybe I might, I might actually try out League of Legends. You know, uh, see what's see what's going on there, and maybe see like what's you know what similarities can I find? You know what um, what transfers over? Because I don't know if there's I, I honestly have no idea what there is the same like what is pulled from League of Legends in Arcane I don't know so I guess I might find out at some point so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one ciao